Now, a uh, huge disservice has been done to our species by unknowing medical professionals laying down the law about how long a woman should suckle. This chart shows you what happened between 1600 and 1900 in the United States. The red curve shows the average duration of suckling, which falls from two years to one year over that period. And the blue curve indicates the increase in advice to women that they uh, should suckle on a, according to a fixed schedule, which went from zero in 1600 to 100% in 1900. And one of the worst culprits in this was uh, Luther Emmett Holt, who published this very wildly successful book, uh, which has the word catechism in it, so you kind of get a taste for this. I call him Laughing Luther. And Luther Emmett Holt laid down the idea that in his catechism that women should suckle every three hours and no more frequently than that, and that the baby should be left alone for the rest of the time. He achieved this remarkable result by taking out the stomachs of deceased babies and measuring the volume. And then he did sort of divided the total intake over a day into stomachfuls and worked out that it would take about three hours to digest a stomachful. And therefore, it was much more efficient to feed babies on a three-hour schedule. This has done inestimable harm to human life. 